You guys, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Today, it probably goes without saying, but me, nah, me? I've never had Scrapple. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. I really feel it's my time. We have arrived. So. I've never had this, and I, did, I had to look it up. I feel like I've heard of it, and then dear friend of the show, the one making this possible here today, let's give it up for him, Mr. Scott Mitchell. Also, hi, Bren, I'm thinking of you too, and maybe more than Scott. <laughs> Long story short, I'm addicted to breakfast sandwiches, at least at your level and maybe more. No one's obsessed with breakfast sandwiches more than I am, but whatever, today you can be more obsessed. You know what? No, I'm the most obsessed. <laughs> My favorite breakfast sandwich right now is a Scrapple Egg and Cooper Sharp Cheese Sandwich. Now you can't get Cooper Cheese in Chicago. I looked it up. You gotta buy it online. Drive quieter. Scrapple for a lot of years was just a Pennsylvania Dutch thing and hyper-regional. I found some in Chicago and would like Shawnee Two Sandos to do a video making a Scrapple egg and cheese. I find it to be super tasty and a great vehicle for hot sauce. If you're curious of an MVP status, this is how to do it. Here, you're taking things off my plate. Scott's not from here and he found a really loud truck, and then also he found a market in Chicago that carries Scrapple. So I don't need to drive all over the place or order it for like a whole case of it online. He found a market, we're at Paulina Market, that's the market, let's go into the market. I really feel it's my time, I think it's my year, yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, I think it's my year, yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, I think it's my year, yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, I think it's my hand ready. Used to hold myself bad, myself a sting damn paddy. Gotta keep on chugging, ran through everything in front of me. Might smoke bed heavy, got a whole agenda. Can't this fight to get ahead, so bump that is no surrender. Got a dollar flipped up. I'm trying to get in the NFT to get them when they're hand and crypto. Learn how to fix that. I don't really hold out of books, but I'ma learn how to fix that. Some opportunities are never come unless you pay attention, so no, I can't miss that. Moving. MVP, I got the record, I might have to throw some. Big jump worthy, they gon' have to retire my jersey early. Whole crew coming, had to work some, cause I had nothing in my pocket. Yeah, I did all that. Scott, you just accidentally found the best butcher shop that I've ever seen in Chicago. Oh my God, I'm going back to that place all the time. Okay, got the scrapple, got some buns. I also, look at this, they have, that market has their own beer. Like a meat market in Chicago with its own beer. The Butcher Brew from Paulina Market. Butcher Brew, are you joking? So there has to be a brewery that makes, okay, Temperance Beer Company in Evanston. So right where like Northwestern is, which I've done some videos in Evanston, I'm out of breath. Um, I need to do some more cardio. 4.9%, uh, but look at that, we're gonna have this. Wow, we're gonna find an excuse to drink in the morning. What's the excuse though? Oh, alcoholism. Okay. Oh, also, just look at this stuff. I know I showed it, but like, I got Dutch Scrapple. This is like the real deal Scrapple. Straight from Pennsylvania, Dutch country. Fully cooked, sliced thick, pan brown, and served like corned beef hash. Oh, wow. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah. Yeah, I really feel it's my time, think it's my... All right, Scott, well, thanks to you, Dutch Scrapple has officially made it into the home, into my apartment. Tenderize. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific. So let's do an unboxing or a un... Do I even need these? Plastic wrapping. Scrapple comes in a lot of different brands and styles, and this is as authentic as it gets, at least here in Chicago. Okay, package number one. Package number two. This might be a little different than the Scrapple you know and love, but it is still very much a brick. Okay. <laughs> this used to be a bunch of pigs. If you're wondering what the hell Scrapple is. Oh. 
Yeah, it smells like pork. Kind of looks like it's seasoned there as well. I could be wrong, but wow. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for this. Well, stop being so dramatic. What is Scrapple? Scrapple's known by the Pennsylvania Dutch name Panhas. Traditionally a mush of pork scraps and trimmings combined with cornmeal and wheat flour, often buckwheat flour and spices. Uh, the mush is formed into a semi-solid congealed loaf and slices of the Scrapple are then pan fried before serving. Y'all hungry? Not tonight, sweetheart. My last video, I previewed that I was going to do this, so that kind of opened the floodgates of comments to come in about this. Steve Mill, I personally don't like it. If it's parts of pigs grounded up, the parts that most people don't eat, good luck, you might like it. You like some weird crap. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Okay, so everything I've read in the videos that I've watched, quarter inch slices, best rate of success, and a lot of people think you have to use flour, like you have to dredge it in like an instant flour for it to stay together. I've heard if you do it the correct way and you only flip it once, you don't have to put flour in it, and that also won't affect the taste. As much as flour is great for like, really like combining particles and molecules and making everything kind of stay together, I would love to not have that like floury taste on the outside. So we're gonna try to do this for my first time of just cutting this into quarter slices and to pan fry a few slices of it. And I'm gonna make one sandwich because I'm filming three food reviews later today uh, for my other channel. So watch <laughs> Shawnee one sandwich. I don't wanna die on you guys. You're gonna die, clown! As much as I should probably know what a quarter inch is just from looking down most of my life, I'm gonna look real quick. Okay, I'm gonna go, yeah, mm-hmm. A touch more than a quarter inch. So I want it crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. I mean, it really is just like cutting a loaf, you know? Going confident, going confident. I mean, it's got an oil to it. Got my three pieces here, my little strips that are gonna go on my sandwich, and then we got the rest of this pig ass <laughs> for later. And I've seen that we want a good amount of oil so I'm gonna really kind of fill this thing to like a quarter inch of oil to really like, you wanna thicken, you wanna crispify <laughs> that outside. Mike's vlog. Gonna go ahead and throw in a nice crispy hash brown into the air fryer because I always use these on breakfast sandwiches. Okay, let's try this first piece. Oh yeah, there we go. Using a fish spatula to kind of like ease it in. Nice little steady fry here, looking good. It smells really good. I mean, it's just salty pig. Doesn't smell like bacon or ham. It's more concentrated, if you will. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this one here. Ooh, look at that nice brown. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Free flip. Woo! That is looking nice and craspy. Try to time this here. I'm gonna cook a fried egg over on this side. Sunny side up. Maybe we'll do a little over easy. Yeah, this other side's looking really good too. Let's flip our egg, and then let's immediately put some cheese on it. Ash Brown, how you doing? You turn this heat off. Let's take our scrapple that didn't fall apart. I'm gonna put it on a paper towel lined plate. I'm excited to just try it straight up as is and then get into it on the sandwich. The Mike's vlog pan, flawless again. Crispy. Look, she crispy. Also, look at our scrapple. Crispy on both sides. I can tell it's still a little soft in the middle. Everything I've heard, that's the way to do it. I'm gonna layer two of these on the bottom. Gonna take my crispy hash brown, put it there. Take the over easy egg with the cheese, put it on top. Get a little more iced coffee, a little more caffeine. Just psych myself up for what's about to happen. <laughs> Throw the buttered lid on. And there we have her, ladies and gentlemen. Scrapple, egg, cheese, hash brown, little Kaiser roll action. It's incredible how crispy the scrapple is, you can tell. That just looks fun. I'm excited to eat that. Moment of truth. 
Get into a scrapple with that scrapple. Crispy, you could hear it on the cutting board. Normalized cutting boards as plates. Here we go. My first piece of scrapple. I'm not gonna go hot sauce. I'm not gonna add jam. I'm just going straight up, raw dog style to start. Crispy on the outside, a little softer on the inside. My first time having scrapple. It's exactly, not exactly, so much like a, just a really crispy corned beef hash. Scrapple's a hilarious name, and it makes sense. It's like gritty. Feels like you're noshing on some scrapple, some shrapnel. It almost doesn't even need sauce because it's so moist and fatty, because it's pork. Wow. I get it. Most of the time I have these things that are weird to people, but other people enjoy. I end up really liking them. Okay, but here we go. Sandwich form. Scott sent these photos of his scrap leg and cheese that he's recently had. He had on his phone. Here's my version. This is a very much a Hey Shanili sandwich right here. Let's get all the bites. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Right away I get how it could be an acquired taste. Ooh, look at that egg like ooze in there. Cause the texture's off from bacon and sausage and ham. Those are much like tenderer and just kind of, you know you know what it is. It's got a crispiness, but not like this does. This provides a whole nother level, level of texture. With the egg, ramps it up huge. Tony Hawk, 900 ramp up. The yolk really like gives it a, even a little bit more diversity and cuts down on a little bit of the dryness. I'm a fan. It's rough to think of what it is, but if you can get past that, like most of us do with food anyways, fantastic. And then with the cheese and the hash brown too, this is Shawnee breakfast sandwich. Mmm. Get yolky. Steve Aoki. <laughs> Mid meal shower. That's that moment, Scott. Scott. I was looking at the super thanks list for Monday on that video. Harris, Big Lefty, and Joey, thank you so much for super thanksing the show, donating, letting me do this every single day. Also, uh, from your girlfriend, fuck you, Eric. Oh, yeah, Big Lefty. Fuck you. <laughs> Man, your girlfriend really loves you. <laughs> Just the hazing in that house. You I'm enjoying, I'm dancing. It really doesn't need it, but it's not gonna hurt it. I've got the best spicy hot sauce in the game right here. Oops. <laughs> Welcome to Globsville. Too much hot sauce when it's this spicy, but we've gotta learn from our mistakes eventually. <laughs> Today's not that day. Nucleus bite, that center bite, the, co the cohesion of all of it, <coughs> and the most yolk, and a lot of hot sauce. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Don't forget to bring a towel. Imagine only using a napkin for this sandwich. Not possible, good sir. Some of you guys commented on Monday, but let me know. Have you had Scrapple? How do you prepare it? What's your fave? Let me know your history with it. And then also people that had no idea about this or did and would never eat it. Would you ever eat it now that you've seen this video? What freaks you out about it? Besides all the major components that freak anybody out about it. Scott, this was a super fun one. Can't thank you enough for finding Paulina Market. Gonna finish the rest of this sandwich. Enjoy some butcher brew. Ooh, they don't make a bad beer. Think of the most crisp lager you've ever drank and then realize this one was better. Temperance makes great beer. It's 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> some different life choices could have been made, but we're weirdos together. We're psychopaths together. I'm sweating, I'm snorting, I'm snotting. We're monsters together. I'll see you guys again very soon on this vlog. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get a crispy bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like dancing. I wanna dance the night away. You make me feel like dancing. I wanna dance the night away.
You guys, my first time ever having Scrapple up. My first time ever having Scrapple down. Be good to each other.